Tommy, you've done flares before. Oh yeah, all this kinds of flares. One's a little different than what we've done recently. This is a little different. I mean, most people think of a flare that starts at the bottom of the house and the shingles come out a little bit and they roll up. Yep. It's pretty simple to do. I've got some scrap pieces here to show you. So if we take a filler, it depends on how much we want to get the shingle out, but let's say I take a filler like this and I cut a little wedge on it, yep. a secondary one right here. So if I wanted to bring this bottom row out even prouder, I could put a filler under it like that or just make this wider. And then we're going to press the shingles into it like this. Right. So you take your starter course, and that always wants to hang down lower. And then your first course, again, the joints don't want to line up. You'd push down and you'd have this filler right here set so where your nailing is. You want to nail through that. Then your next course would go on here. Push down and again that would be depending on depending on your reveal. And we've built our flare much simple. Now you could do that where we want to do it at the top of this. But Matt wants to celebrate that that by putting a crown molding detail right there. Interesting. So just below where these shingles end right. and before the claps. This is the transition. Right, and that flare will really roll up the wall nicely. Okay. So we're going to do that a little bit different. We've actually made a jig, or basically we've made the curved studs, 16 on center. We've Ooh, mounted them on a piece of plywood like that. Okay. So now, when we take our crown detail with our small fascia board and put it right on there like that, we'll then take a piece of plywood and bend the plywood on here we don't want the plywood to go beyond this. Then we'll take our shingles, put them on top of the plywood, and build it up again, forcing them down, just like we did at the bottom. Whew. A lot of stuff going into that. A lot of stuff, a lot of work, and it's time consuming. So we're cutting all of our curved studs. Right here, we've made up a template. This is a piece that we've cut the back out to where we're going to mount it to the plywood. All right, so now we take our template and we hold it flush on the top, even on the back where the plywood's going to go, and also even on the bottom edge that it's going to go against the house. So now holding it tight, mark it. Got it. Okay, good. Okay, so now we've got a notch on this side so we can flip it over. Again, we want to make it flush on the back in both areas even on the top and mark that. Good. What I want you to do now is you're going to cut it with a jigsaw. You're going to stay away from the line about a quarter of an inch because we only want to rough cut it with the jigsaw and we're going to fine tune it later. Okay. All right. When you cut with a jigsaw, you want to make sure that you hold the plate flat on the table so you need to put some down pressure on it. Okay. Kevin, what you're going to do is you're going to fine tune these with a the router. We have our piece that's the right size, the right dimension, and we're going to use that as a templating guide. We take our piece that's rough cut, put it on top, tight to the back here, even on the top, and flush on the back. We'll put a couple of screws in that to hold it so that it won't move. Okay. So now to follow that templating, we have a bearing on the bottom of our straight cutting bit that will cut flush with that bearing. And you're just going to take it and make a cut nice and slow, holding the router firm. And make a nice slow cut all the way through, all the way around, and you're done. Okay? Okay, so now we have a piece of three-quarter inch plywood that we're going to mount all of our curved studs to and they're marked 16 on center to accept them. We also want to put a little bit of glue in behind it and then screw from the other side. Okay, let's get these up on the wall. All right, now let's screw the plywood on. I want to keep it up about an eighth of an inch off the bottom. Good here. Okay, so now we'll screw this on and the screws will pull the plywood right in and follow that contour. We fill in down there and then all the way around the house and we can start to shingle. And then crown molding right there. What do you think about that look? That's going to be great. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.